Saturday. It's December 9th. I went to Pilates this morning, of course. I went to my mom's and wrapped a present because she, that's where all the gift wrapping supplies is. Then I came home, made some breakfast, did my makeup because I'm meeting a new friend for lunch today. I'm good, kind of getting ready for that. I like have a full on mess going on in the bathroom and wearing my favorite little silk kimono. I'm about to make a little green juice. It's so easy to bring you guys from room to room in my studio. Just a couple steps away. I'm to pick out an outfit to wear. It's actually really nice today. It's like 70 degrees and sunny, or like 72. So I can wear something like a bit more fun, not so wintry. It's like really a nice December here in Southern California. Got this gorgeous dress on. I'm hoping I don't regret this because hopefully I'm not cold, but I'm just doing some final touches. I'm putting some oil on my arms to kind of moisturize them. I used to buy the Necessaire body oil. It's like $40 for like just a few ounces. I loved it so much because it was like only made with like four ingredients and it was unscented so it was just like super clean. So I looked up the main ingredient in the oil and it's sweet almond oil and I just ordered sweet almond oil and it literally feels identical to the Necessaire oil. And this whole thing was like $6. I'm pretty sure there's even more oil in that than in the Necessaire one. So life hack, if you're a body oil girl, just try to buy like pure sweet almond oil and it's literally so good it's so good for you because it's like literally one ingredient there's like no nasty chemicals or anything and it's not pore clogging so it won't make you break out and it's just like super simple as it gets really dry and stuff to use oil instead of like just a regular moisturizer but let me show you guys my dress i'm dying to wear it because gorgeous and like comfy it is it's so comfy I think I might wear bring a little sweater to like get over my shoulders, but it's open back and then I'm gonna wear some little like ballet flat type things. Like it is so bad. I just got home. It's 5 p.m. I just spent like two hours at the thrift store. I went in and I went there with a goal because I have a photo shoot tomorrow and they sent me a mood board so I was trying to find pieces the shoot is like it's very much like a fashion shoot so I was trying to find pieces that goes along with like the theme that we're trying to go for so the whole goal of the, of the thrift shopping was to get stuff for the photo shoot and of course I found other stuff too so it just turned into this huge huge deal but it was really fun I literally love thrift shopping and I kind of like doing it by myself because I take my time and I like to like try the stuff on and like really look through everything and like try to like think about it creatively if I'm gonna wear it if I could take a photo in it so it's very fun for me to go thrift shopping so that was like kind of my activity for today I went to lunch I met with a new friend who lives in San Diego and then right by in that area there's a thrift store so I just went straight to the thrift store and just had the time had had it quite the time by myself we could do a haul if you want first of all look at this hat this cowboy hat you know when you just put something on and you just have to have it that's what happened when I put this on I have no plan for this cowboy hat but I feel like it could be a fun photo shoot you know it also makes me want to go to Stagecoach this year, so it's coming with me because I haven't gone to Coachella or Stagecoach in years because I've never lived in California, but we're back. I haven't lived in California in so long, but now that I live here, I'm for sure going to Coachella, maybe both Coachella and Stagecoach because I'm a country music fan and I've never been to Stagecoach, so I think that would be so fun and I feel like Cass would be down too. My best friend, so stagecoach, here we come. This hat is sick. Maybe I could bring it to the shoot tomorrow. Maybe like black bikini kind of look. And then I found these new slippers. 
I had something very similar to these last year and I bought them in Vancouver. And I, when I saw these at the thrift store, like they still have the tag on them. They've never been worn. And I need slippers, like I was telling you guys. And they're like so cute. They're like rainbow and they're like real sheepskin. So I was like, of course they're my size. So I like had to get them. They're so cute and warm. I'm totally gonna wear these around the house. And then I got a black belt for my shoot tomorrow. I'm thinking this could be, this could go with some outfits that I'm planning. And then I got a bunch of costume jewelry because I'm thinking about just doing like really simple outfits with like a bunch of jewelry for the shoot tomorrow. I got this necklace, pearls and gold. And then I got like pearls and this necklace. It's all like costume jewelry, so it was super cheap. This like tennis bracelet. And then I got some clip-on earrings, which kind of seems so grandma-y, but I actually have really weak earlobes. Like I think I have grandma earlobes. So I kind of like, anytime I wear earrings that are too heavy, like my earlobes droop so much. So I found these clip-ons and the clip-ons don't do that. So maybe I become a clip-on girl. Like that's cute. I feel like big, these big like regal looking earrings are really in right now. So I got these pearls. And then I also got these giant gold ones. They're like so grandma vibes, but that's literally what's in right now. Like this is cool to have big earrings. Like that's cute. I'm into it. I might be a clip on girl from now on. Like. I see why grandmas wear clip-ons. I get it. They're like way comfier for some reason. I got a vase. Like I, I was telling you guys, the thrift store is a great place to get vases because they're super basic. Like this was $1. And I need to get flowers for my house. When I get flowers, I need a place to put them. So this is a perfect vase. I got another candlestick holder. And then, how cute is this sweater? Let me put it on for you. It's got like ruffles on the shoulders. I've been looking for a white sweater, but how cute is that with like the big shoulders? This is gonna be so cute for winter. And then I got this slip dress. This might be fun to shoot tomorrow with like some black heels or like some black boots or something. I got a white shirt, a white button down the shoot tomorrow just like a basic kind of silky white shirt um oh this cropped blazer this is all stuff for like the fashion fashion shoot tomorrow and then you like tie this around your waist it's hard to see with my big dress on but you get the idea this velvet corset it's like dark green it's kind of hard to see the color probably for you but like this really dark green corset like that is so hot kind of Christmassy too that would be cute with like some black stockings and then I got this like black cropped long sleeve to shoot with and oh this I thought would be cute PJs got this thermal it says oh what fun it's like a Christmassy kind of pajamas Got this shrug slash cardigan thing to shoot with tomorrow. It would be cute over like a bikini or something. It's gonna be 74 degrees in LA for my shoot, so I'm definitely gonna shoot a lot of like swimwear and stuff. I feel like this could be a cute like pool time look or like even maybe for a beach shoot in the future. Like picture like just like a bikini under this or something. I was uh, starting to get really creative in there. I got some bath towels some hand towels for my bathroom. They just have little she she shells on them. I thought they were cute. I got just like a plain black bodysuit. I hope it fits. They don't have a fitting room there. So who doesn't want a plain black bodysuit? And some Christmas PJs. Look how cute these are. These are, they've got like snowmen on them. And you guys know I love PJs. So that's my little thrift haul. I feel like I did pretty good. I was in there for so long. And I was like literally starting to become friends with the employees because they usually aren't used to people being there for that long. So I think I'm gonna change into some PJs. I really probably should wash these, but I really wanna wear them. 
for the last few hours I've been planning some outfits for the photo shoot tomorrow so I have everything laid out for tomorrow I just love to dry everything on and make little outfits and stuff and it's such a long process but it's so fun for me it's like such a creative outlet like planning photo shoot looks because it's mostly stuff you can't really wear in real life so it's kind of fun to create outfits that was my project of the night I put on my my new shirt it's like so cute and comfy actually and I need to do my skincare. I ordered an Instacart order from Sephora. I'm not an errand girl. Like, I don't love running errands. So, anything, anytime I can get something delivered, I will. So, I got a giant oat cleansing balm. Like, a few weeks ago, you guys saw I got, like, the mini one delivered. And it's already ran out. So, I just got a big one because I need that. I got some lash glue because I'm gonna wear lashes tomorrow for the photo shoot. And I also got some nude eyeliner. I had a, a makeup artist in my last vlog. I had got my makeup done. She put nude eyeliner on me. And so I bought some and she had a, she was using a MAC one, but I just am trying this Tarte one. So hopefully it's good. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow for my makeup. And yeah, I'm gonna do my skincare right now and get ready for bed. I'm also gonna make a tea. It sounds so good right now. I have this tea called Gingerade and it's so good. It's got so much good things in it. It's got a bunch of different ginger, moringa leaf, turmeric, caraway fruit, cinnamon. It's really good. And this is what I've been having this last couple nights. I'm gonna make a little tea. Hey guys, <laughs> I haven't talked yet today. That was my first words. Uh, when I live by myself, you guys are the first people I talk to, which is so funny. Um, I'm about to make some breakfast. I made hard boiled eggs last night and I have avocado and I have rice cake. So I think I'm making my little rice cake avocado dish. I need to head out the door, but I wanted to open my advent calendar for the day really fast. Golden hour flora fatty dried organic edible flowers. How gorgeous. Scatter over cakes, pastries, and salads. Add to cocktails, mocktails, lattes, and more. I'm in LA. I just got to my photo shoot. I just pulled up. I always get really nervous, especially for group shoots like this. And I'm just like walking in, not knowing anyone. I think I know one photographer, but it's been years, and I don't like don't really remember what he looks like fully. So my social anxiety stick is starting to kick in, but I just need to like waltz in, and it'll get better as I. As time goes on, like within a few minutes, I'll probably feel warmed up. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'll probably vlog some behind the scenes. I don't know how much I'll actually talk to you guys in there because I will be shy to like whip out my camera, but we'll definitely get some BTS. So let's go shoot. <music>
my hair looks crazy right now. <laughs> What's going on? Hello, it's Vlogmas day 11 and it's Monday. I have had the most chill Monday. Like I have not chilled this hard in a very long time. Didn't work out today. I went for a walk when I first woke up to the grocery store to pick up a couple things. And then I just came home and I've been home ever since. I've been ending Vlogmas part two kind of all day and I just got that uploaded. And I've been in my sweats all day. Sometimes it's really nice to just like not leave the house all day long. I've had like a very cozy day. My mom came by and dropped some things off. She she brought over all of the advent calendar stuff for the next few days. She's just so funny. Like what kind of advent gift is literally this big? She just like loves ex an excuse to give presents. And then she gave me these ones. So what's today? Today is the 11. I wonder how she chose like which ones to do when. This wrapping paper is so pretty. She, she said that she got it on Etsy. It's like a handmade paper. It's like always the little things with the holidays. It's like the little things that make the holidays special. And she's really, really making my holiday special. Like you guys have seen, I have not been doing anything very festive this month. I've kind of just been focusing on moving. Oh, she got me a book called entangled life how fungi makes our worlds change our minds and shapes our futures i've been really interested in mushrooms lately and i told her that so this is like really a thoughtful a thoughtful gift she also knows i like to read so i'm going to have so much fun reading this this is like fairy vibes i'm becoming a fairy and this is my little fairy house my water filter just came. I'm so excited. This is the same one that I had in Puerto Rico, but this is like the newer version. So I actually think it looks, I don't know exactly what's different about it, but it definitely looks better because it's more white. The other one in Puerto Rico, the, the one I had before was like all black. And this is a really good water filter because it's reverse osmosis, which is like the best type of filter that you can get. And this one's like very affordable water filters are like very expensive but i find that this one wasn't bad so i just sent it because i did not want to have to like go get like water bottles every day i just also don't think it's like that just sounds like an errand that i don't want to run you know so we're gonna make our own filtered water set this bad boy up the only thing is that this thing is so big and it has to be on my counter kind of so it's gonna like just kind of be an eyesore in my kitchen. You know, sometimes you gotta make those sacrifices to have good health. Water is so vital for good health. There's like only one spot to put this on my counter and it's like right where my cute snag stuff is. Well, this one's way different from my one in Puerto Rico. You can see it's like turning, the water's like turning white in there. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I think that filtering is happening like in this reservoir. Transfer the pure water into an internal reservoir. Just trying to figure this out so that I like know what I'm doing. All right, so we wait 10 minutes and then I do the next step. Got a package from Locatane. So we've got a hand cream and a lip balm duo. They literally have the best hand cream. Essential Shea Trio. Nail and cuticle oil. Everyone needs this this winter. And then some more hand cream. Hand cream, hand scrub. Almond milk concentrate, sh almond shower oil, almond delicious hands, almond delicious soap. I have so many skincare goodies like this for you guys, like set aside in like a little gift way bo giveaway box. I really want to do a Christmas giveaway. I'm just, I'm just gonna do one giveaway towards the end of Lopez. For you guys so stay tuned for that i think i'm gonna add some of this locutane stuff in there because this will be such a good gift for you guys it smells amazing oh wow oh that's from thank you cheers i like your glass you want it no i want mine i think mine's bigger i like something out of the shape of one i like to for some reason what the shape Yours is lower. Because mine's more full. Yours is a little lower. Well, cheers. Yeah. Welcome home. Cheers. Oh, that was 
That's a nice sound. Yes. Crystal, Crystal, and these are from um, your dad and I's wedding. No way. I yeah. should give you guys, like, oh, I should I give you this. Yeah. Yes, you should. Eric, we don't use them. Can I, I actually them? only have one wine glass. I know, I saw that. Mom, do you have other? I only have, like, four. So I accept uh, donations. And you don't them. use them, and no. even when you have a holiday, you don't want to use them so because you don't want to do the dishes. So <laughs> you're never gonna Here's use them. Here's a paper cup, mom. Do yeah. you want more of these? I love those tea. These. I know they're really cute. They're so cute. Okay, Sydney brought over <laughs> all-purpose cleaner concentrate. Oh wow, it is concentrated. Oh yeah. So do I fill this with water? Yes, but I'll show you what you do after. Oh, wait, so, you're a pro. I am a pro. So, that's for that whole thing? Yep. So, I do that. And then, to even get like the concentrate that's on here, yeah. like rinse it off into the, into the thing. Into the thing. Yeah. But whatever bottle you want and top you want, you pick what out, and I'll, I can help you fill it. And then, you have teaspoons at home. Crystal and gold can't go in the dishwasher. I would never put those in the dishwasher. Okay, Thank you. See, I would, but the good thing is I don't have a dishwasher, so I won't. Yes, yeah, so you won't. <laughs> the gold will literally melt off. I know. I said so just gave you some concentrate oh, when you just fill, mix it with yeah. water, and now oh, I have all-purpose cleaner, and then she's sending yeah, them home with some concentrate. And how cute is this spray bottle? Yeah. There's three things happening. There's like, and then people's voices. Here you go. We're getting it. Chicken teriyaki for dinner. Mom, when you got this tree, did you measure that you needed a tree for this corner? Well, then why did you originally try to put it up over there? <laughs> Don't get logical, Sid. <laughs> because I thought if I pull it far enough away from the ceiling, it might work. Sorry. I don't care. And a fascist. And a communist. Oh, yeah. And okay, so. Hamas and Jewish and Egyptian and all the other shit that's Well, just type in what you want. Yeah. You think you're just saying that because you grew up No, there? I'm obsessed. No! I, I don't say that about dad's dog. Dad's dog is not cute. I'm not a dog person. Danny is cute. I'm gonna say it, I'm not a dog person. I love this dog. She is a good dog. Her not to like. She is a middle sister. She just, oh, it's your rice. Yeah. Is this the light bite chick? I that was have fun. Thank you. Probably not, but hello. It's 3 p.m. Just went to the nail salon and I like do not like my nails and it makes me so frustrated when that happens. So I'm like kind of in a bad mood. Cause it's just frustrating cause you like pay for it and you've been sitting there forever and it's not cheap. And then if you don't like it, it's just like frustrating. I like wanted to get gel X extensions, which is like the my favorite type of nail. And so I booked a complete removal of my nails and then I booked also a fresh set of Gelix extensions. So I was like sat on that and then I walk in there and this happens every time. They always try to convince me to just get a fill. I thought I made it clear that I just wanted her to take off the, cause I have some gel extensions and then some natural nails. 
I was like, okay, I just want you to remove the natural nails and put gel extensions on them so that they're all gel X. Like that was my goal. And then she just like di didn't really understand that. She just started doing her own thing. And there was just miscommunication. All of a sudden I looked, I, she, I just am noticing that she like am, is not replacing the nails. And it's like, sometimes it's just too far gone for you to say anything. So I was just like, okay, I guess we're just doing a fill. So they don't look any better than when I arrived. And yeah, I'm just kind of frustrated, but I think I'm also hungry. I'm like having like a kind of a meltdown right now. But I stopped at Trader Joe's before I came in here. I only got like pantry items because it would have gone bad just sitting in my car. So I'm just going to have a couple Brazil nuts. It'll make me feel better. I think I need to drive home and make myself like a real meal because I'm just not in the best mood. I just got back from a walk. And it helped my mood a little bit and i stopped at the thrift store guys i literally like i'm addicted to this place but they just get new stuff in all the time so i just figured like why not browse just like on my walk i got this paper towel holder it was like three dollars and i needed one and it's got like a marble base it's from threshold which is like target's brand so i felt i felt like this was like a really cute one and then i got a little shot glass. I'm gonna put my matches in here. You see, I ordered these like pink matches on Amazon, and I just needed like a little jar to put them in because you know how you probably have seen like cute little you know, those cute little jars of matches that people have, but they're like so overpriced. So I figured I would just like kind of make my own. So I'm just putting my little matches in this little jar, and it looks pretty cute. The matches come with like a little striker sticker that you can just put on like any jar. And then I got this candle. It's a pumpkin cheesecake candle. It was like $3. Like, and I've been obsessed with, I've been loving like burning candles at night. It's like such a cozy vibe. And I got this little bowl. It's like a little catch-all bowl to put like my keys and stuff when I like first walk in the door. Mm -hmm. 